In this video, we got Teddy right here. We're gonna help him put on his new gear, make sure that it fits perfectly. This is some all-star gear. It's the gear that I used in college. We're about to break down how to actually fit it and get it feeling awesome. So let's jump in. So we'll start with the shin guards. One of the cool things about the all-star ones is that the, these are all connected. So it's a little bit faster to pull on. One thing that I like to do with this is to tighten these all the way. And so I found the best way to do this. Why don't you do this with your other one? The top strap out. And then we're just gonna push this through so that we're tightening like that this. all the way. But basically we just wanna tighten it. So so that top loop, push that down. So push it through so you um, can pull, you pull it. it yeah. And then you pull it, yeah. Just like that. Mm. Then pull that through. And now we'll take this and fit that back through here. So the reason I like to pull these all the way tight is because it'll be easier to adjust these straps. So we got one down. We're gonna do that for the rest of these on the clip sides. All you gotta do is just create a little bubble, just enough that you can grab it. I like to pull that thing pretty much all the way tight. Same thing, push it through, grab the bubble. Mm -hmm. Yep, so now push that middle one through. Uh -huh. So you gotta kind of grab uh -huh. it, grab it close. And, then just like and push, push it and so now you can, can and now pull yeah. that. So don't you got to pull it from the inside though. Oh, so that's what it gets. So it shrinks that middle one. Now pull that one. Yep. And then you just do this. And then we weave it back through. You don't go as tight on this one. You still want it tight, but you don't want to go all the way down to the base on this. So we're gonna put these on Teddy, and then we're gonna pull these tight and see how it feels, and then we can make sure that this one is adjusted to the right length. These straps always go on the inside of the legs that so you clip on the outside so that you don't trip and fall. Let's get those on, and then we're gonna pull the other straps tight height. So that one goes here, goes there, nice. So if this is still loose right here, that's not tight enough. So like this one especially, you'll see, is loose. So we're gonna pull this thing. And I personally like to have these very tight. Everyone has different preferences, but I found that if they're loose, they'll roll on me sometimes. We're just gonna tighten these guys up. How's that feel? Then this one's just loose, right? Yeah. And this one's easy, because you can just go ahead and pull right here. Oh. So tighten that guy up. But this is looking good right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and tighten this up a little bit based off of what I saw on the other shin guard. Wait, do I pull this thing? Pull that. That's good right there? Yeah. So this is what it's looking like as we're tightened up. So we got these pretty close down to the middle. We got these, so there's a maybe just a little bit of space here. Again, this one's pretty tight down to the very end. This has a little bit of space. This one isn't super tight, not right on the edge, but there's maybe two inches right there. And then this one is tightened up a little bit too. And we just gotta tighten this one. That should be good to go. Well, cause then the tighter they are, then when you slide, it doesn't like. It doesn't um, roll on you. Yeah. And if that feels good, then we just need to put this one back through that last slot. Does the tightness feel good on that? It doesn't feel tight. Doesn't feel tight. So go ahead and just try to do like a little slide right here. Nice. Do, do a few lateral blocks back and forth. Nice. Oh, wow. Yeah. Feel good? Yeah. So yeah, so big thing is get the shin guards right first, pull the strap on the fastener pretty much as tight as you can for these ones down here. Leave a little bit of space right here and then there's no thing only on the fastener here. And then you'll pull these ones pretty good. Get your shin guards fitting nice, make sure that they're nice and tight. Try to do a few blocks so that when you go to actually block that they don't roll on you. And then make sure that you know all the fasteners have it fed back through. Now let's get the chest protector. When we put this on, see how much space there is right here. That's not good because you can take a ball off the collarbone and that will hurt really bad. So what we're gonna do, kind of same thing. We're gonna just tighten this thing pretty much as tight as it goes right here. We want this nice and tight at the top. It's always best to start at the top. You can see how this is kind of like thing out on him. That means that we probably just need to loosen this just a little bit so it can get flat. The only issue is that we don't want this to happen where you can see his chest. So that makes me think that we need to tighten it actually a little bit more. <laughs> we'll just tighten this. On these side straps, you have the uh, little clip that's in there too. So you gotta make sure that you don't pull the metal fastener through. So then you just tighten that, clip this. 
So basically get it on and then tighten it to what we want. Okay, how is that feeling, Teddy? Feels good. How is that on your neck? Same, it feels good, like I don't feel anything. It's not too tight or anything? No. no. See, that's just puffing out on you a little bit, but you'll grow into it. There we go, man. Look like you got a six pack right here. So if the helmet is loose, again, you got these same straps. So it looks like feed these through. So I'm just pulling it, pushing this through, pull that tight, put that on. How's that feel? Good. Yeah, comes off pretty well. You ready to go? Yeah. Biggest tip for everyone watching, you've been catching for about a year, year and a half. What would you say, number one piece of advice that you have for a catcher that's starting out? Perfect your stances. Perfect your stances. If you want to take the seven day stance challenge, go to catchingmadesimple.com slash stance. There we go. Good luck putting on your gear, everyone.